Welcome to the Quest Weekly Podcast, Two Texts on a Crust, where our heroes embark on an epic quest to provide guidance to those seeking resiliency and security for their infrastructure realms. Braving the perilous landscape of IT, they must battle monstrous IT challenges in hopes of empowering the people against the evil empire of misinformation. Will they succeed? Will they fail? Only time will tell. Welcome, everyone, to the weekly side quest, Two Texts on a Quest, starring your hosts, Chris Patton and myself, Matt Smith. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. So our goal here is to inform you some some good products that are out there on the market, some good topics uh, in IT uh, built around some very important things that... Um, well, we use on a regular basis here in the office, you know, basic uh, backup, disaster recovery, storage, things like that. Now, uh, I guess we should just roll right into it. We want to set this up every week. We're going to give you some weekly side quests, which tips, tricks, troubleshooting topics, uh, just random stuff that's going to help you out in your everyday life. You may or may not know it but they're useful things that we use every day here in the office that we want to share with everyone. I guess, where do you, where do you think we should start? And this Just, week, I think we should uh, maybe start with some basic Windows troubleshooting tips and tricks and tricks and tips and tricky tips. I, I think that's a good idea. The most commonly used tool, any kind of troubleshooting in a Windows-based environment, is going to be the task manager. Probably one of the least talked about, but definitely the most commonly used. I know I use it every day. All right. Quick and easy way to open up that task manager and close it out with one hand, control, shift, and escape. Let you just get in and out of that task manager real nice and easy. And you don't even have to let go of your coffee, which is a sin in the office here. <laughs> Absolutely. While you've got that task manager open, you're opening it for a reason. You're opening it to analyze what's going on in your environment. Hold down the control key while that task manager is open and it'll freeze the display of what's going on in the in your in your processes and everything give you a chance to really look into it a little closer and see what's going on in that moment in time also as you're going through and inspecting things changing things whatever it is that you may be troubleshooting at the time make sure you right click on your search bar type in PSR ahead of time now what this is going to do is it's going to open up problem steps recorder it's baked into Windows I think they started in like 2008 uh, and it's in most of the major flavors since then, including the desktop versions. But basically what it does is you can have it pipe all of the steps, every click, every every keystroke, everything that you do, pipe it right to a text document that you can save. You can add it to notes. You can retrace your steps later if something blows up, but you have it all documented there. So you don't need to pause what you're doing. Make sure you go in and type all those notes up and then come back to it. It's already done for you. So you mean there's going to be a record of everything I did? Absolutely. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Introductions. Chris and myself have been working as pre-sales engineers here at Quest for quite some time. We've gotten a chance to work with a lot of varied infrastructures from cloud to physical to data centers, as well as different hypervisors, VMware and Hyper-V, as well as Windows, Linux, and various others, applications, things like that. We get the opportunity to speak with a wide range of customers about what kind of pains they're experiencing, what kind of issues they see. And over the years, through those opportunities, Matt and I have had the privilege of being a part of the solution to many of those challenges uh, and initiatives that our clients were facing. And moving into our main campaign, our main adventure here, if you will, this is going to be the part of the podcast where Matt and I look to provide you with the benefit of those experiences. So each week, Matt and I are going to be bringing you relevant topics in the IT landscape, as well as introducing some products and solutions to aid you in telling your story. 
So we're going to be talking about things like physical to virtual migrations, migrating your infrastructure to a virtual environment. Uh, we'll be covering topics like virtual server sprawl, just having so much in your environment that you're just not utilizing the resources available as well as they could be. Along those same lines, let's talk about storage expansion and uncontrolled data growth. When companies gather so much information over a period of time, they got to put it somewhere. Often that'll come in the form of hardware upgrades, new hard drives, new SAN, USBs being hung off the end of servers. A lot of companies are still using tapes to store their backups. And while it may make sense for budgetary purposes and meeting compliances, it may become challenging down the road when we have to recover from that data or keep track of boxes and boxes and rooms full of these tapes. And if you are using, especially in circumstances where you're using tapes, how certain are you of those backups? We're going to be talking about ways to alleviate some of that fear, uncertainty, and doubt regarding the status of your backups and your recovery capabilities. Uh, we'll be talking about licensing and retention compliances and how to be able to manage and monitor some of that. There seems to be a growing misconception surrounding the protection of virtual and physical infrastructures. Many admins feel like there just isn't one single solution that can adequately protect both within a single product. So they employ multiple products from different vendors, creating a rat's nest of incompatibility as varied products vie for control. Managing multiple different products like that can be a pain in the butt. So being able to go in there and kind of unify everything and make it a little easier to manage. And then finally... How do we get a return on investment in all, all these different purchases to make it worth your while to go in and, you know, make these changes? And then, most importantly, how to convince the powers that be that it's worth the investment. Right. How to get somebody to actually pay for you to have it. We've got a lot of experience here. We've got a lot of different products to go through from disaster recovery, remote management. What we're looking to do here is give you guys an insight into some of those tools and how they can help you in your in in the challenges that you might find in monitoring, managing and protecting uh, your environments out there. Some of the experiences that we've had and kind of help you build your story. Uh, you know, what are the challenges you have? How did you overcome them? Here are some tools that we have that might be able to help you that you didn't even know, you know, existed out there. So we can bring those tools to you, show you a little bit of how they work and then give you use cases and show you some possible story arcs for how those uh, how those can help uh, solve those problems that you're seeing. Through our experiences, we're going to help you to tell your story by telling you our story. Chris and myself both have had a wide variety of environments and, and clients that we've had to deal with over the years. So we can turn around and, and kind of give that back to you as, as kind of a learn from us sort of thing. And if you get nothing else out of our, our first episode here, you have our mission statement. We are vowing to entertain and educate you on important topics within the IT realm. Well, that's it for our first episode. Uh, if you liked what you heard and you're interested in seeing more, like, subscribe, review, comment, whatever it is that uh, we put down below you, and uh, follow us. We look forward to seeing you next week. All right.